Okay, I've switched to Kankini now because uh, I'm going to play a little more advanced part for you, with you. Um, that is the standard Kankini accompaniment for all the Dunumba family of rhythms. There's about uh, 50 to 80 of these different variations in this family of rhythms in which the Kankini keeps the time in one particular pattern that's constant. And the Dunumba and the Sangban uh, do their variations which distinguish each particular rhythm in that family. And uh, likewise, the, the djembe is pretty much a timekeeper as well as the kankani, with the djembe marking the beat on the beat, the kankani playing the off beat. So you've got that interplay there, setting up the basis for the rest of the variations. So um, if you're slap, pa, du pa, pa, du pa, Marked by the bells on my foot, pa to pa, pa to pa. That's the on beat, and the kinkany bell is on the off beat. So on the triplet, the bell plays the two and the three of every triplet. So if you're practicing this, it's really tough to practice just by itself because once you start playing it, you're going to want to drift to, to play it on the beat, and it's, it's not going to work the, the proper way that way. So you need to either have a bell going or somebody to play with that's going to mark that beat with the, with, uh, it could be a clave stick or a djembe or whatever on the beat so you can play off it. Uh, now, still that's a challenge for a beginner, so an easier way to get into this rhythm is to play the one, with the bell, instead of, you can go like this. Two singles and then a double. Now it sounds like three together, which it is because you're looping back onto the one after the end. So it doesn't just end, it loops around to the one again. And you're not playing the stick note on the one, you're playing it on the next beats. So it's like this. this rhythm. Uh, when you play it like that, you can, you're can you going to hear three emphasis in the six out, of six, out of six total beats in the pulse, you're going to, you can play three of them or you can play two of them. If you play three of them, it's like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then the double at the end is just an add-on. One, two, In fact, this is the the feel of this kinkiny part because you're playing. That is emphasizing the the two and the three out of that, or say the one, three, and five out of the possible six. One, two, three, four, five. Six, one, two, three, four, five. But because this is a six-eight rhythm, the dancers are marking the pulse, and that's what it's all about—the dance, right? On the one and the four, that's every three. So. that feel going on too. So the kinkany is basically fusing a straightforward two or binary feel, one, two, three, four, five, six, with a triplet feel, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
depending on how you, if you play it the simple way, that emphasizes the binary feel. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you play it with the other pedal pattern, you're going to feel more of the triplet feel, which is really the true way to play it. It's just harder. <laughs> so you might want to start with one way, and when you get it, switch to the other feel. The pattern's the same. You can feel the pulse on the triplet. <coughs> Get it, it feels and sounds really sweet. So, good luck and have fun.